I'm in my 23rd year of flying, so I've been through SARS, bird flu, all those different flus that have come out, 9-11. If you talk to other pilots and flight attendants, this is, this is worse than 9-11. In March was eight passengers on a flight. It's gone from a full airplane down to this, you know. So, so we're gradually now seeing the, the recovery phase, which is good. On my flights, I've never had really any issues of passengers not wearing a mask. And of course, when you're eating or drinking, of course, you can definitely take off the mask, of course. We want to ensure that our customers and our employees feel safe and coming to work and being in an airport environment that's clean and disinfected and knowing that we're taking every precaution possible. Our customers love the fact that we are disinfecting our aircraft, we're doing the electrostatic spraying. No matter how much time it takes, we will always go through the cleaning process and make sure the cleaning specs are met. And if that means that we will um, compromise an on-time departure so that our aircraft are clean, we will do just that. Looking forward to September, we've added more flights into the schedule, so. I'm looking forward to the day when you know people feel we can get rid of the 50 and 60% capacity but that'll take some time. Yes, it will be a slow and steady climb and it could take up to two to three years to bring us back to pre-COVID state.